Welcome to the official tutorial on how to use the speech to text basic app by hasfocus.com. To show you how this app works and to teach you about its features, I am going to compose an email. I start by clicking the languages button to make sure that the selected language matches the language I plan on using during the dictation. To install a supported language, click settings. Time and language Language Click the plus button underneath preferred languages. Choose a language with a microphone icon, and click next, and give the installation a few minutes. However, we won't do this now. To begin speech recognition, click the button with the microphone icon. Dear John Sierteski Oops, that last name, didn't come out the way I wanted. Select last word. Spell S-W-I-E-R-C-Z-E-W-S-K-I. Here, I used the voice command spell, to spell the name. More on voice commands later. Because this last name is hard to pronounce, and because I am going to use it again, I am going to click the shortcuts button, click add new shortcut, and create a shortcut for this name. This is a faster alternative to spelling it every time. In the shortcut field, I am going to enter a convenient keyword that will allow me to recall the name, such as, my friend John. In the difficult text field, I will enter John's full name. Next, I am going to click save new shortcut. As you can see, the shortcut has been added to the list and is shown by its first keyword. Why don't I associate an extra couple of keywords with that name, so as to have more options to recall it? To do this, I hover my mouse over the shortcut, and add the keywords in the flyout that pops into view. Let's add, John from New York, and click save. Let's also add, John with the long name, and click save. Let's test those keywords, to see if they recall the name. Delete last sentence. Dear my friend John. Undo. Dear John from New York. Undo. Dear John with the long name comma. I wanted to have a short conversation with you about the meeting this coming Friday period. Select first word. Next to. Write one. Make paragraph. Maybe I should reduce the font size. Jennifer and I, comma, are going to need to reschedule this particular meeting period. It seems as though, comma, one of our developers is not getting as much attention as they believe they deserve with this particular project period. Select developers. Software developers. So we need to have an emergency staff meeting this coming weekend period. Therefore, comma, I would like to reschedule for next Wednesday, comma, if possible, comma, and hope that you can make that date period. Select if possible. Round bracket if convenient. Please reply and let us know if that's a possibility for you and your colleagues, period. Select last sentence. Previous one. Make paragraph. Looking forward to receiving your reply comma before 6.49 p.m. period. Select 6.49. 7.38. Select period. Previous previous previous. Exclamation mark. Sincerely comma. And now, I am going to create another shortcut, one for the signature I want to be adding to my emails. My signature. Select sincerely. Next for. Make paragraph. As you noticed, I was able to modify my content using voice commands.
Speech-to-text basic, offers more than 40 voice commands that allow you to have full control over the content that you generate. To access these voice commands, click the voice commands button. As you can see, they are grouped under categories. To find out more about a specific voice command, you can either click the play button, and let it demonstrate the voice command on the editor. Or, you can click the question mark button, and read a brief description of how it works. Unlike with shortcuts, you can't add a voice command. Voice commands are predefined. You can, however, attach keywords to a voice command so that you can recall it in more than one ways. This works in the same way as with shortcuts. Speech to text basic lets you open text files, save them, and send emails. For support issues, send an email to admin at hasfocus.com. Thank you for watching, and have fun with this app.